Hi, this is Joshua Fitzpatrick with AWC. Today, I tried to install the update for Unified. And again, this message popped up. It's an annoyance that happens. And if you press yes, it'll reboot and it will show up again. If it works for you, then you're fine. But when you keep on getting this message, it is very annoying. So the only way to fix it is to go into your registry editor. So you can look on this FAQ on Siemens's website, and it's going to be underneath the ID number 88618198. It will, if you read through it, it actually tells you to open up your registry editor and delete the file called pending file rename operations. So what I will do is open up my registry editor. So I will go to start registry editor, click that. It will come up with a message to say yes to open it as admin, say yes. And now the registry editor will be open. You're going to have to go to hex key local machine, expand system, then expand current control set, expand control. And then underneath control, there's gonna be a folder called session manager. But if you single click on one of these folders and then press S on your keyboard, it will bring you all the way down to the S's. Then you find Session Manager. And then underneath there, you'll see Pending File Rename Operations. You need to delete that. So single click on there and then press Delete. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to delete this? It'll be deleted permanently. You're going to say yes. Make sure that it's gone. Same thing, Pending File Rename Operations. And then you can just go back to your install. And it's going to say, do you want to restart this computer? No. Say OK. Now go back to your EXE that you were trying to install. Double click that. It's going to say, hey, are you wanting to install this as an admin? Yes. It'll initialize. I've said to restart your computer. But since we have deleted that pending file rename, it's not going to need to reboot. But I will suggest, after you've installed all the software that you need it to do, is to restart your computer after the install, okay? Now my install is ready to go for WinCC Unified or any of the other Siemens software. So to recap on the FAQ, it's gonna be 88618198. That is how you fix that reboot loop that happens. So, all right guys, thank you for watching.